Welcome to Grandad's Storytime. Please like and subscribe. I post new content every day. Pepper Pig The Big Tale of Little Pepper Once upon a time, Pepper's best friend, Susie Sheep, came to play. I've got something to show you, said Susie. Look! It's me, said Susie. You're not a baby, Susie, said Pepper, shaking her head. This is an old photo, Susie explained. It was taken when I was little. Pepper snorted. Susie was being very silly today. Susie pointed at Pepper. In the olden days, you were a baby too, she said. No, I wasn't said Pepper. Yes, you were, insisted Susie. Ask your mummy. Pepper and Susie raced inside. Mummy Pig was working on the computer. Mummy, cried Pepper. Susie is making up stories. No, I'm not, Susie said crossly. Pepper told Mummy Pig about Susie's silly idea that they used to be babies. But you were a baby, Pepper said Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig took a look on the computer. Who do you think this is, Pepper? Mummy Pig asked. Pepper thought that the baby looked a bit like her cousin. Is it baby Alexander? she asked. No, replied Mummy Pig. That's you as a baby, Pepper. <laughs> Susie and Pepper giggled. They'd never seen baby Pepper before. George and Daddy Pig came in to see what all the fuss was about. Look, Daddy, said Pepper, that's me as a baby. I remember it, said Daddy Pig. That photo was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? asked Pepper. Daddy Pig told Pepper. Susie and George, that they had moved into their house when Pepper was very little. We brought all our things on top of our car, he said. Mummy Pig put some pictures up, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig put up a shelf, said Mummy Pig. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden, she continued. Pepper and Susie went outside to see what Grandpa Pig's lovely flower garden looked like now. It had completely disappeared. Daddy Pig looked after the flower garden, sighed Mummy Pig. Um, said Daddy Pig, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Was Susie my friend in the olden days? asked Pepper. Daddy Pig nodded. Of course, he said. He, 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 you and Susie have always been best friends. Pepper wondered what game she played with Susie when they were little. Did we jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper, laughed Mummy Pig. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. What did we do when we were babies, Mrs Pig? asked Susie. Um, you cried, you burped, and you laughed. Susie and Pepper burst out laughing. <laughs> baby Pepper, baby Susie. Then you grew into toddlers, continued Mummy Pig. But where was George? Pepper asked. He was a baby in my tummy, said Mummy Pig. George looked very surprised at this part of the story. What a funny idea! Pepper thought for a minute. Daddy's tummy was even bigger than Mummy's. Is there a baby in there? she said. No, Pepper, chuckled Daddy Pig. This tummy is pure muscle. Mummy Pig said that after a while, George was born. And she remembered the time that Granny and Grandpa Pig gave George a very special present. 
Can you guess what it was, Pepper? Pepper knew straight away. Mr. Dinosaur, she cried. Goo goo grrr. Daddy Pig explained that Pepper and Susie didn't stay little for very long. They liked to jump and dance and run around all over the place. Then one day, said Mummy Pig, you saw something amazing. A muddy puddle! Mummy Pig said you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. After Mummy and Daddy Pig's big tail of little Pepper, Susie, George and Pepper ran outside into the garden. I still love muddy puddles. Splash, splash, splash. Pepper and cheered and jumped into the biggest one she could find. Susie and George jumped in too. Daddy Pig went to find the camera. Let's take a photo of you two now, he suggested. Pepper, Susie and George did their best smiles. Click! Little or big, Pepper will always love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, it's free, to support us and allow us to create more great content.